comes Mungo. Oh. Better fix the damn door. Fix this damn door. Hey! Narzar G, I hope I'm saying that correctly, has suggested that I watch Blazing Saddles. Now here's the thing. I remember clips of Blazing Saddles. I don't remember everything. I am a huge Gene Wilder fan. I watched most of his movies, especially the one with Richard Pryor. Come to find out, Richard Pryor actually had a little a little part of writing this movie. Uh, is he in this movie? Um, not sure. I know Gene Wilder's definitely in this movie. Mel Brooks, the wonderful Mel Brooks and his wonderful offensive comedy. You can either cry about it or laugh about it. I choose to laugh about it. So I know what I'm getting myself into. And shout out to you, Nazar. I hope I'm saying that correctly for suggesting this movie. And welcome to the Blaze Squad family. Thank you for subbing. I don't even know if you're watching this, but if you are, I see you. Thank you. Anyway, Blazing Saddles. Little Rascals. Yeah, he was in Little Rascals. Yes, he had a little appearance in Little Rascals. If you were my kids, I'd punish you. If we were your kids, we'd punish ourselves. How oh, I love being old sometimes. You're not people. You're kids. We rode a blazing saddle. We... So Richard Pryor is not in here. He just helped rode it. Things are popping up in my head right now. You know when you remember moments from a movie? You know and damn well you're not supposed to be watching it probably? This was written by Mel Brooks right here, this song. For the blazing saddle. Yeah, Richard Pryor right there. Yeah, hey, okay, the railroad track. The dancing, right? I don't hear no singing. When you were slaves, you sang like birds. Come on, how about a good old nigger work song? Whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> Some get a kick from cocaine. A real song. A real song. Quick sand. Well, boys, the break's over. Yeah. Take that shovel and put her to some good use. Take that shovel and hit him in the back of the head with it. Oh, he really did it. So what is this actually about? Building a railroad? You provincial putz. You speaking a language I don't understand. Nerd. Holy shit, no. What did he do? The Dr. Gillespie killings. The doctor what? I want that land so badly. There must be a way. Those are the jokes that just make me feel uncomfortable. Interesting, the racism jokes don't get me, but the, the humping does. We'll kill the firstborn male child in every household. What the hell? Too Jewish. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Mel Brooks is Jewish, right? He, he is? Correct me if I'm wrong on that one. Oh, we raped the shit out of them at the number six dance later. Boris! Oh. Boris, you're not smart. So he's trying to get people out of Rock Ridge so they can build a railroad. Uh, there's cows. Anal Johnson. Anal Johnson, excuse me? Anal Johnson. Anal Johnson, all right. He always kept things nice and clean. Oh, okay. <clears throat> this is a musical? <laughs> the old fashioned jumping in and out of windows. <laughs> well, that's the end of this suit. He's worried about his suit. Oh my god. Oh, have you ever seen such cruelty? No, I haven't. I didn't know there was hitting old ladies. Where does Jean come into play? And cattle raped her. The cattle. And by gum. I thought it was by golly. Maybe by gum. You for a moment, sir. Yeah, what is your yes. I did not know he was the governor. What are you worried about? This is 1874. You got no pants on. If I could find a sheriff who so offends the citizens of Rock Ridge, why am I asking you? Did you just break the fourth wall? <laughs> that guy. There you go. <laughs> mm. 
How do I picture Leonardo being able to play this character right now? I'd like you to meet the new sheriff of Rock Ridge. I'd be delighted. Wow! That man is a nick. Gucci! Gucci was around in 1876. I think that was the year they were talking about, 1876. You're gonna die in style, huh? A laurel and hearty handshake. Oh boy. Hey! The sheriff is a nick! Do they not see this? Oh, let's see it. Go ahead down, give him a handshake. Nigger. Okay. God, I would like to be in the minds of these people doing this movie. Gentlemen, gentlemen, let us not allow anger to rule the day. Okay, never mind. Well, he tried. Hold it, man. He's not bluffing. Is he gonna help that poor man? Shut up. You are so talented. And they're so stupid. Okay. And they are so dumb. You said it. The cows again. What is going on with the damn cows? It's just random. Is that supposed to be the thing? Just randomly putting cows around? What did you do do day? <gasps> there you are. He's a drunk. Mm. Have you ever had this whole, I really hope this person wasn't really something else behind the scenes type of thing? Because that would be really upsetting. That's a Gene Wilder for me. My mind likes to think, you're a cool dude. I want to keep that in my mind. I said I'm a huge fan of Gene. I just hope everything's good behind the scenes. Or was good behind the scenes, R.I.P. So he plays a drunk. A man drink like that and he don't eat. He is going to die. When? Nope. I used to be called the Waco Kid. Steady as a rock. Yeah, but I shoot with this hand. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. That is pretty fast, though. Reach for it, mister. Killed the kid. Threw my guns down and walked away. Oh. Bastard shot me in the ass. Oh. Well, he shouldn't shoot the kid. I thought that was going to get dark for a second. Is that Mel? They darker than us. Woof. Rest is history. I didn't really get a story. <laughs> I like to keep my audience riveted. Beans and cornbread. Beans and cornbread. Beans and cornbread. Beans and cornbread. Nice. Okay, here we go. The fart jokes. Bring them in. Are you about to join in? Beans being the good for your heart, the more you eat, the more you fart. Jesus Christ. Oh, that's not regular tobacco. Listen, Bart. I take it that's not just regular tobacco. Up yours, nigger. Okay, but yeah, you were getting your ass beat earlier, weren't you? The common clay of the New West. You know, morons. <laughs> <laughs> not bullshit, but holy shit. What is that on his ass? Yes or no? It's illegal. It's illegal. <laughs> Command is now the bull that Mongo Rise has yes painted on one side and no painting on the other side. This is apparently a reference to the practice in 1950s of marketing the back of school buses for which side was safe to pass on, essentially implying that Mongo and his mouth are as big as a bus. Oh, okay. Here comes Mongo. <laughs> Better fix the damn door. Fix this damn door! Oh no, don't do that. Don't do that. If you shoot him, you'll just make him mad. <laughs> what? You love daddy? <laughs> yeah, make him as stupid as possible. I'm not a rabbit. She's tired. And going and Always too soon. Yeah. 
Yes. <laughs> you see she's sick? Can't you see she don't want another to do with this shit? She's literally tired. I didn't know there was so much musicals. I should know this. Mel Brooks does musicals, right? Mm. I was born in Dusseldorf and that is why they call me Rolf. Yay! He did the producers. Okay, all right. I had to double check. I'm like, am I tripping? There's a lot of songs in this. I watched the producers. Vig Eats. Minor Shotzi. Oh, what a nice guy. So I take it, it didn't go as planned. Heartless villains for destruction of Rock Ridge. 100 per day. Criminal record required. Wow. They're going to pay all those people $100 a day? I hope you brought enough for everybody. Oh my god, they killed a man over chewing gum and not having enough. Boy, is he strict. Very. Where are the white women at? Wasn't that the same? Where are the white women at? Let's do this. Then white chicks? Oh my gosh, okay. Right. <laughs> yeah, you might want to cover your hands there. Oh! Oh, shit. I'm gonna build on this site an exact replica of the town of Rock Ridge. What? So they are going to build a whole town overnight. Like everybody came together to do one thing. Ain't it beautiful? With all the racial stuff and the jokes, it's actually a pretty decent story. <laughs> now I gotta know if it's gonna work though. Whilst I will be risking an almost certain Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor. All right, fair enough. <laughs> I, 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 your name. Your name. Your name. Yeah. I, 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 Stymie. Stymie. Little rascals. Now raise your right hand for the pledge. Right! <laughs> they just make them dumber and dumber every scene. Somebody's got to go back and get a shitload of dimes. Uh, a shitload of dimes. Go, go, go back and get a shitload of dimes. <laughs> Y'all not doing nothing. You about to blow them up? Oh my god, you idiots! <laughs> Is that a horse? Not the horses. Horses! Horses are flying in the sky. Is that it? Everybody live happily ever after? Wrong! <laughs> Watch me faggot! If you want them to do it like you just did. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the hell is going on? I'm working for Mel Brooks. That's it, buddy. Come on, girl. Well, how many days you have left, Joey? Yeah. They lose me right after the bunker scene. So, is this, what, a pie fight? This is just, I don't know. The storyline was, it was pretty interesting. Now it's just weird. Taxi! Taxi? But it's 1800s, how is there a taxi? Where are you going? I'll drive you off the picture. Okay. Are you going to go chase after the taxi cab? The cows, the random cows. You're going to go watch the movie? What is going on? Shit. <laughs> wow, you shot the bad guy. Let's check out the end of the flick. Happy ending, everybody's together and happy. That ending was just weird. <laughs> but we got our happy ending, so that's cool. Oh. Wow. All right, I did not know. <laughs> With all the racist jokes and the offensive things, 
the storyline was going pretty well that I got hella confused at the end of that. I think I was more offended with the horse getting boxed in the face, surprisingly enough. This is the first time watching it fully through, and to be honest with you, there's not much to say besides this blazing saddles. Is it supposed to make sense? No. Did they make them dumb as hell? Yes. Was it nice and refreshing to watch? Yes. I don't get to see things like this no more. It had its moments. It had its weird moments. It had its gyrating. <laughs> Movies back then just didn't have any rules to them. It was like, just do whatever you feel and somebody will watch it and somebody will like it. There we go, Blaze Squad. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you blaze up the like button. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, go ahead and comment Blazing Saddles, and I will see you guys in the next video.